Welcome to this VMware vSphere to OpenSea virtualization migration with F5 Big IP. This is a five minute demo to give an overview of the solution. We start with a one slide problem statement to jump straight into the demo, then a one slide conclusion remarks. Problem statement and solution presented. Many customers want to migrate their VMware deployments to non proprietary virtualization for infrastructure without vendor locking. In this video, we present how to migrate to OpenSea virtualization where BigIP is used as load balancer without application disruption. Demo of the migration procedure. BigIP BE images are specific for each hypervisor, and therefore, the migration of these will be based in instantiating new images in OpenShift. On the other hand, for migrating the workload VMs, we will rely on Red Hat's migration toolkit for virtualization, which automates the transition. The first step is to deploy replica big APVs in OpenShift disconnected and without any service configuration. Big IP deployment is done using a standard Kubernetes declarations using the data volume and virtual machine resource types. The big IPs only have a cloud init configuration setting the management IP and the initial passwords. Step 2 consists in replicating in OpenShift the configuration backup of big IP2 in VMware. That is, in this stage, the Big IP cluster is formed by a VE in VMware and a VE in OpenShift. The steps shown next are detailed in the PDF guide. Applying the UCS backup in the new unit doesn't use the existing license. Instead, we will revoke the license in the VMware VE and with its key, we will relicense the new unit in OpenShift. Note that configuration migration is done while in standby mode. Only one Big IP2 unit is connected to the network at all times minimizing risk. Once ready the new BigIP2 unit, it is re-enabled in the HA cluster and configuration resynchronized. In step 3, we rely on Red Hat's migration toolkit for virtualization, allowing both cold and hot migrations. Migrating the VMs using the migration toolkit is done in stages. This is to guarantee there is service availability at all times. During migration, Big IP monitoring will disable and re-enable the pool members during the cutover from VMware to OpenShift. In this demo, we have only two servers, so in this first stage, we migrate only Web Server 1. In the next stage, we migrate the remaining Web Server 2. In a production environment, each plant would have many servers in it. The batch size of servers migrated should be the maximum number of unavailable servers, which still guarantees service capacity. Check the MTV guide to see when it is preferred to use hot or cold migration. Step 4 is just a replica of a step 2, but for Big IP1. This step consists again in migrating the license and the configuration to the new unit. Note that the VMware unit is put to offline and interfaces disconnected once unlicensed and with the UCS backup saved. The installation of the license and the UCS backup in the new unit is also done while offline, and only when the new unit is ready, it is put online, which becomes a standby in the HA cluster, without preempting the active unit and therefore without disrupting the service. Finally, we check in the OpenShift console that the VMs of the web servers and the big IPs are running in the new hypervisor. Please also check the VMware vSphere to OpenSea virtualization migration with F5 Big IP Dev Central article for a PDF guide, GitHub repository, and additional links. Closing remarks. Red Hat OpenSea virtualization offers an enterprise-ready solution using open source software KubeVert, which is based in the KVM and QEMU projects. KubeVert is a top CNCF project it allows unified platform for VMs and containers with consistent management, and with the migration toolkit for virtualization, allows hot and cold VM migration from vSphere to OpenShift. Also, OpenShift has a very diverse partner ecosystem, including F5. Overall, OpenShift virtualization with BigIP allows this migration to happen without service disruption. Thanks for your attention. We hope you have enjoyed it.